No way! Technoblade is actually making his brand new Minecraft server? Hey guys, it's Minepath here. Welcome back to yet again another video. And today, we're going to be covering why Technoblade is probably going to succeed with his brand new Minecraft server. And we're going to be talking about exactly the game modes that can be found on it. But if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing with post notifications on. Like the video and comment on the nice side of the comment section. It would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's go to jump right into the video. So Technoblade, who is he? He's very popular inside of the Bed Wars community because he's just so darn good at the game. Honestly, I wish I could face off against him. I would probably lose in probably like two seconds, honestly. That guy is just so fast at bridging. He'll probably just teleport over to me, but he's really good at Bed Wars and that's honestly an understatement. So, what exactly would happen on a Technoblade server? I feel like we could actually understand that he's definitely going to put the game mode Bed Wars on it, but he can't probably legally call it Bed Wars because Hypixel created that, but I'm not 100% sure. I've been seeing other servers have Egg Wars, Cake Wars. I don't know why they change it. It's pretty much all the same, but I feel like you have some type of rendition of Bed Wars on his server. You also have the popular game mode Sky Wars because he's pretty good at that as well. He may have some type of game modes such as Bridge. If you guys don't know what Bridge is, it's a pretty popular game mode on Minecraft where you get to go ahead and bridge over to the other person's base and try to score before they kill you. It's definitely one of my favorite game modes on Hypixel and that's the main reason why I log in. But a lot of people don't understand that Technoblade probably likes other game modes such as Pixelmon. Pixelmon is a very popular game mode for basically Pokemon inside of Minecraft and a lot of people enjoy playing it. So he may have a vanilla server and he may have another server that is going to be basically modded. So he may have some other mod packs such as RLCraft. He may even have a game mode such as like Feed the Beast and I think it's going to be overall a fun experience. How many people will be probably on this server? Well, I've been seeing other servers by other YouTubers such as Unspeakable Gamer and I've seen Unspeakable Gamer on like weekdays have around 300 people playing his server, Chasecraft, which honestly isn't bad. But I feel like Technoblade could do a lot better. Unfortunately, Unspeakable Gamer has a pretty big kid fan base and you don't really play Minecraft. They enjoy more like playing and just watching the game. They would rather watch it instead of playing it. So in my personal opinion, I feel like Technoblade could pull a lot of people because a lot of people strive to be exactly like Technoblade. They want to have the same skill set and it's just no secret. Overall, a lot of people like Technoblade for his skill and I feel like they may actually want to join his server to get a chance to maybe face off against him because it's no secret that he'll be doing a bunch of videos on his very own server because he has the potential to earn a lot of money from it. And how much money do I think he can earn from this Minecraft server? Well, a heck of a lot. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Think about it like this. Hypixel is charging $40, or I believe $35, for MVP++, and a lot of people say it's a little bit too much. And I believe that's actually the monthly version of it. There's a I, I'm not too well versed in Hypixel, but to say the least, Hypixel is cashing out. Some people are paying a hundred dollars a year, like a subscription service, like like it's Netflix or something. It's crazy. But I feel like Technoblade could easily pull a million dollars a month off this brand new Minecraft server that he's making. So only time could tell. Will he actually retire? I know it actually sounds kind of crazy. Technoblade has been through a lot in the past year, so I'm hoping for the best for him but anyways that's gonna pretty much wrap for today's video hopefully on mind path so i'll see you guys next time on the next video for mind path bye